Columbus leaders are working to clean up businesses around the city prone to violence. One of those is at the Sunoco gas station on West Broad Street and Harris Avenue, where 21 year old Andrew Combs was shot and killed Tuesday. NBC 4's Anna Hoffman has more about the improvement plans. Uh, so we, we, they're going to be making significant steps in the right direction. This West Broad Street gas station has a history of violence, but city leaders hope violence is not in their future. But this particular gas station, the Sunoco, is going to see improved lighting, it's going to see uh, improved security, uh, and it's going to see uh, in, uh, video camera surveillance. Uh, and, and I think they're also going to close their bathroom to the public as well. So, like, it'll help with the ingress and egress. City attorney Zach Klein says this week they filed an agreement with the business's new owners, which says these improvements will happen. Klein says under the previous owners, his office had no choice but to revoke their liquor license. The business was sold about a year ago, and the previous ownership group fell into the bucket of not working. But now he says they're giving them a chance to keep their liquor license. I really applaud them as being part of the team and the team effort to improve public safety. I think they recognize that there were some issues at their business and it looks like so far, you know, they want to do the right thing to get that done. However, if the business fails to follow through, Klein says they will be in contempt with the court. This particular place, it happened to be uh, a location where a lot of folks were just loitering and trespassing on the property. You could eliminate kind of the unwanted trespassing individuals who are causing the problems that hopefully, and coupled with the lighting and video uh, and security personnel, will improve public safety for that particular location, but also the neighborhood that surrounds it.